Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Garrig, and today for our friends at Hunky Dory Crafts, we have these Moonstone cutting die collections. This is all occasion cut in sentiments cutting dies. And this one is on the edge pretty embellishment cutting dies. And you guys together, they make cards just like this one. Mm -hmm. And this is our giveaway for this episode, so if you stick around, I'll tell you how one lucky viewer could win this card to keep or share with a friend. So come play with us. All right, so let's take a look at what these dies look like. They come like this, and they create this little border kind of right in the middle of the card. So let's take a look at what I used, um, what Debbie used on this one first before we get started. So this is our brand new wildlife, wildflowers and wildlife six by six patterned cardstock and also the coordinating solid cardstock. And she took her card that was, this is our traditional six and a half by five inch card and she cut that down to six inches, okay? So it would accommodate that six inch wide paper. Then she covered um, the, uh, well, and then, Sorry, everybody. Then she took her little thank you cutting die. This one I used, birthday wishes. And you just take the birthday wishes or whichever sentiment you want, and you're putting that right there. You could use a little um, low tack tape to stick it down, a little washi tape or whatever. And because this is six inches wide, you're then gonna put it through your die cutting machine and it's gonna fit perfectly, okay? And then if you wanted to use um, a wider card, so that was uh, a different width and it wasn't gonna pass through your card, you could always put it right here, then take a little scrap card stock, fold this over, and then put it through your platform because this is five inches wide. That works too, so it accommodate those different size cards. But for this one, she cut it down and put it through this way. All right, then she took the solid card stock, okay, and she put little panels above and below, and then she cut down her six by six card stock and put it on those panels, and then these are just little cutouts from inside the paper pack. Super cute and super easy to do, and you could replace that greeting with any one of the greetings, so sweet. All right, so let's take a look at another one. All right, so this one, you guys, this one uses the on the edge embellishments. Look at this one, it's so beautiful. Okay, so once again, Debbie made a five by six inch card. Okay, cut that down a little bit. And then she used this beautiful star border. It's so beautiful. And let me show you what she used to make her card. Oops, got too much stuff here. She used the gorgeous six by six Mystic Moon patterned cardstock, the solid 12 by 12 cardstock, and then she die cut those beautiful stars out of this gold holographic paper. Absolutely gorgeous. And then she used the coordinating Mystic Moon die cuts, okay? All right, so how does this look when you're doing this? So first of all, Debbie took a strip of the solid cardstock and she glued it to the right hand side of the card. All right, then on the left hand, everything over, she did her patterned paper. On this one right here, she just took a little strip of the patterned cardstock and matted that left, uh, excuse me, that left edge and got a little border and foam taped that on there. Okay, it's created this really sweet little border. And then right next to that, she added that gold holographic. So you just take a strip of cardstock. Here's one with the little leaf one. You just take a strip of cardstock and then you're placing that border right on that. So for example, here's the leaf one, just like this. And then you're running it through your die cutting machine. So this would be like this long. You run it through your machine and what you have left is this on the edge. And then you just put it, tuck it right in there. And that's how that one is done. She did that with the stars and I think it was absolutely gorgeous. She took some of the little pieces that were um, die cut away and she just glued those little stars on there as well. So cute, we love what she did with this one. All right, so this is our giveaway card for this episode, you guys. So um, how that works is, we ask that you go to our YouTube, Paper Wishes YouTube channel. The link for that is right down here below the video if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page. We ask that you like, comment, and be a subscriber, okay? So you would like and comment on this video, and then we're gonna wait about five days, and then we're gonna come back and choose one lucky winner. We'll reply to your comment, and we'll say, hey, YouTube user XYZ2, whatever your username is, 
and you have, you're the winner. And we give you instructions on how to claim the card. It's very helpful if you turn on the notification bell at the top right hand corner, so that way you see our message when we leave it for you. And then you just have to claim that card and we will send it to you in some happy mail. So for this one, this is um, six and a half by five inches, okay? And Debbie used the Be Happy 12 by 12 patterned cardstock, also the coordinating solid cardstock. And then what she did was she just glued at the top of her card some of this beautiful border paper. And then she used this little, cute little green strip right here and did this border and then cut this one. This is a different color, but what you do is you just cut your strips to this length and then you're die cutting your little greeting right there and then you would cut it down to whichever width of strip you want and you're just layering the strips there. So she started off with the green one, then she put the words right there so that the green showed behind it and then she used this little flower die and she did the on the edge there and just went that order and then an another little strip of green. And then she embellished that bottom there with little blue jewel dazzle stickers which are so pretty and then on these flowers she added the coordinating blue mirror jewel dazzles. Beautiful and so as I said this is going to be our giveaway card so definitely participate in that one. All right so for this last one you guys I'm going to be using both of these die sets to build a little card. All right so <clears throat> this one is five by six and a half inches and I'm using our new newsprint florals 12 by 12 pattern cardstock and the coordinating solid cardstock. So I took one of these beautiful borders from the newsprint florals, if I can grab it here. All right, and I cut it just a little bit larger than my card. This is two inches wide. I started out with a three inch wide strip and then laid down these beautiful butterfly cutting die right there. Okay, ran that through my die cutting machine and then this half of it just sort of fell away. Okay, cut that apart. And then I just used a little bit of ink. I used some tangerine. Where is my tangerine ink? Here it is. I used a little bit of tangerine ink to color my butterfly, just the edges of these wings. And what I did is I just took a little sticky note and I just lifted up those wings and then I just took my little dauber hair and just added a little bit of color to the edges of those wings. And I did that just up and down. All right, so we're gonna put this one right here, just like that. And then, oops, I've got this uh, little gorgeous little uh, vine one. I added a little bit of holly green to the edges of those using a dauber and that little post-it note in the same way. Just adding a little color there. We're going to tuck that one right there. All right, and then I took this golden yellow from the paper pack and we're going to put this one right there. All right, so that's the pattern that we're going to be using. Let's get some glue. All right, so we love our Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. gonna put some glue on the edge. It's important to get that edge. That's the thing on the card that's really used the most. Okay, I like to square up at least two edges at the top and the sides. All right, and then this one we're gonna put right here. And then this one is gonna go right there. And then I would just put a little bit of glue right there. It's gonna dry nice and clear, so we don't need to worry about that. And then this one's gonna go right here. There we go. And then with these little 
butterfly wings. You can kind of give those a little bit of a lift. Just like that. And then we're just going to take our scissors and trim away the excess. There we go. Nice fit on the card. All right. And then I have a little greeting here that says happy anniversary. And how that works is I just die cut it from a strip like this. And then I just took my paper trimmer and I just cut it down into a strip. And then I took the reverse of this dark green, which is a nice sort of mossy green. We're going to put that right there behind it. And then we're going to trim it down. Like that. And then we're going to take our little, little scissors. We're just going to trim away this little excess piece right here on each end. And I'm going to put this right like that on the edge of the card. There we go, sweet little happy anniversary. And then I have my little jewel picker, and then I have these gold jewel dazzle stickers. This is what they look like unused. Here's my use sheet. And we're just gonna take these, and we can put these on cute little butterflies. Just to give them a little sparkle. Okay, while I'm finishing this up, I'll remind you guys about the great money saver that we have. It's right over there on the right-hand side if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page. And then don't forget, all of the items that I'm using are listed down below the video on our webisode page. So if you want to shop a few things, um, they're all listed there with full color photos of the cards. If you click on the cards, you'll get individual supply lists for each one. And then don't forget about our YouTube contest as well. Go, put a little bit of ink, a little too much on this end. Just a little bit of ink on my card edge here. This is roasted pumpkin. There we go, and all set, so yeah. Super easy and versatile collection, you guys. So there we go. That's Remember, that one is our giveaway, so definitely participate in that. Thanks so much for joining me. It's so fun to use these and show you guys all the little tips and tricks. Don't forget to leave us a comment to tell us what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.